Hi everybody, this is Lorenzo from lorenzicafica.com and today I want to show you how to make a cool web effect using the displicit format in Cima 4D. Let's get started! So here we are in Cinema 4D and first of all let's create a new cube. Now set up the cube size for example 200 by 35 and 5. Then we have to set up the segments by 5. Alright now select cube and let's go to the mocker menu and let's create a new cloner. Select the cube and drag and drop into the cloner object. Then let's go to the object tab and we have to stop by by 0 and PZ like 8. Increase count by 25. So now let's go ahead and uh, let's create a new null object and let's go to the former tab and let's create a new displacer then select displacer and drag and drop into null object then select cloner and make a associate of the null object then select displacer and let's go to the shading tab shader and select noise now we have to stop noise, for example, like wet noise and set seed 800 and global scale, for example, 600% and relative scale by 35, by 0 and 35%. Now select brickness, for example, negative 45% and contrast like 5% alright now select space for example word right now let's go back and let's go to the object tab and we have to step the strength for example 190 percent and height for example 40 centimeters all right now select direction like planar switch the orientation like y so <clears throat> now we can animate this scene and So now increase the timeline seconds like 10, 10 seconds. And let's go back to the displacer shading tab and set contrast, global scale and brickness and add a new frame. Then let's go ahead to uh, 2.5 seconds and now we can change the contrast for example like 20% and global scale like 900% now we can repeat this process for uh, three times all right so Let's go ahead to 5 seconds and set up contrast like 5% and global scale like 600% add a new frame. Now let's go ahead to 7 seconds for example and uh, select contrast like 25% and global scale by 900% and add a new frame. And finally let's go ahead to 10 seconds and set up global scale like 600% and contrast like 
All right, so. Select null object and let's create a new cylinder. So we need to put a cylinder of the center of the scene. Then we need to stop the height, for example, like 100 and radius like 770. Right now, let's go ahead and let's create a new bool object. Then select null object and make us a child of the bool object. Then let's go to the bool tab and select A intersect B. Increase rotation segments. Right. So if you would like to increase the polygon of the scene, add to the scene subdivision surface and select bool and drag and drop into the subdivision surface. Alright, now double click and let's create a new material. Let's go to the color menu, texture, and select gradient, then click and set color like first color like blue, then like red. yellow and red again All right now let's go to the type and set to the radial then let's let's go to the reflectance and add set up Reflection strength and specular and set attenuation like additive. Right now, select the material and drag and drop into the subdivision surfaces and select projection like flat. Right, double click and let's create a new material. Material for the floor. Select color like white and reflection add GGX. Select Select Additive again. Set up the right now. Let's create a new floor. And put material right now. Let's create a new material again and uncheck color and check on luminance let's go to texture gradient set to the circular right click invert nox then let's create a new plane and set material of the new plane
right now let's go to the render settings and set up optut like HD HDTV then select frame range or frames save select your path add ambient occlusion and global illumination All right. All right. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials like this.